Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have learned about the one of the way of accessing the DOM that is document.getElementById. So this method will be used whenever you want to access an element which has an ID. So that takes an argument, only one argument that is ID. Now in this video, we will see about the another way of accessing the DOM that is nothing but get elements by class name. We have already seen about the disadvantages of the get element by id that we can access only single element by when we are using get element by id if you want to access the multiple elements so that you can apply the common functionality to the multiple elements if you want to apply means then we need to use get elements by class name so this is one of the method so there are also other methods also which you can access multiple elements but get elements by class name so now instead of writing you here in the console and all those things i will show you one easy scenario so whenever all the time so instead of writing the code every time when we are refreshing the page so instead of writing like that all the time so we can go to the sources and here you will be having a snippets so in this snippets i can create a new snippet here so here you can write a <coughs> javascript code so here i am writing dom so here you can write the javascript code for example let's say that let color is equal to red i am trying to take it and here I can add let header is equal to document dot get element by id of header and here I can apply header dot style dot background color sorry background color is equal to color so this is the color variable which we have used it right so now we have saved it and let's try to run this one so when you try to run this one see automatically the code has been executed so there is no need for us to rewrite this code all the time again and again so whenever you want to refresh it you can refresh this page so now you can go to this dom and you can run this code again this code will uh, output will come so now for us there is no need for us to write again and again so this snippet will be very useful in the chrome inspect element so you can find it in the sources tab so here if you don't have this one means so you can click on this one and you will be able to see the snippet here <clears throat> fine so now we want to capture the we want to apply the same background color of red to two elements that is nothing but using the class thing so this is the these two elements are having a class of name header so now in order to capture the headers what i can do here i can write let class names is equal to document dot get element this time we need to use elements why because we are trying to take the multiple elements so here elements and it will take only one argument that is nothing but class name or class names so that's it so here i am taking the headers now here i have written this one so i am writing this snippet let's go to the console <coughs> and here you can write the variable name class names and you can able to find here the output so this class names variable is accessed using the document dot get elements by class name right so this is returning <coughs> you need to understand this is returning an html collection okay so we have already seen in the previous videos that html collection the return type is html collection and it is not the same as the javascript array so the javascript array and this html co collection is different only some of the methods that are available in the array javascript array so only that one will work so this this html collection is a different way so this is the way the, the browser gives us that one in the dom so this, this is the internal way so where can we find this html collection is that is in the window object if you try to observe it clearly you will be able to find it in the window object if i try to type window here in this window <coughs> if you go down so you'll be having way so many properties you will be having so we need to go to the html right so here you'll be having somewhere h html collection so you'll be able to find it so there are way so many properties right so somewhere at the bottom you will be able to find it uh, here here a a b c d f g h somewhere it will be existing uh, so let's say html collection so that means yeah here here you'll be able to find it right this is the html collection so this is the this is what it is written so the class names <clears throat> so class names actually it should be class elements not class names 
okay let's try to keep it like this so now i want to apply the background color red to these two elements also so what i will try to do is class names dot style dot background color dot is equal to so i will try to apply red if i click enter see we got an error what is the error we are get, trying to get it so i cannot set properties of undefined so when you are trying to get an element by using the get element by id i can able to apply the style dot background color directly but here when you are accessing the elements by using get elements by class name means then we are not able to apply the style dot background color why because the written type of this one is html collection i already told you it is not an element node this is an html collection it can it consists of the set of element nodes <clears throat> we already know in the javascript we have an array method that is nothing but for each for example let's say that we are having an array like 1 comma 2 comma 3 oh sorry where array is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 so we have an array so if you want to loop this array so we have a method something like array dot for each and i can take x and console dot log console dot log of x i am trying to type x that's it so if i try to press enter so we are able to loop over each and every element in an array in the same scenario so we know that we have a class names which is of type collection that is nothing but so it's a, something like behaves as a part as a, a javascript array but actually it is not a javascript array let's try to apply for each here dot for each whether it will work or not let's try to see dot for each you will get single element and i want to do console dot log of element so let's see whether that element node will print or not so if i try to press enter see as we already discussed as i already told you that for each method now this one is not working on the html collection previously onwards i am telling you that this html collection is not a javascript array so this one is designed like that by the browser so html collection but here if you want to loop over so this one will work what is that one is the name the common for loop the need to for loop will work for example you have a for loop so let i is equal to zero i less than uh, you can have class names class names dot length you can have it and i can use i plus plus so we can have here like this i can press shift enter so here i can use class names of so here i can use of i sorry what is this index db of i dot style dot background color so here i can apply background color is equal to red or otherwise blue so now when i apply here and if i press enter see automatically the elements which we have selected by using the class name has been selected has been changed to blue color so the native for loop is working perfectly but the for each loop is not working so this is what i want to explain you about the get elements by class name so this is all about the get elements by class name so get elements by class name will return you an html collection and it will select all the elements that are having the class names and if you want to apply these all things means so you can uh, use the for loop and you can apply it hope you understood about this uh, get elements by class name if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you